Just to let you know, this is being done on completely real hardware. As you can see here, it's a Dell Precision. So I'll be using a real computer to make the test a bit more, uh, a bit more fair. So first of all, let's talk about hardware. Windows 8.1 isn't officially supported anything 7th gen or newer. So basically any Intel CPUs made from 2017 or later. As for older hardware, yes, it works great on old hardware. You can even run this on the Pentium 3 if you wanted to. But there's one problem actually that I ran into while making this video. My graphics card, the Radeon RX 580 from AMD, it does not support Windows 8.1 anymore, which is really weird. AMD dropped support for this graphics card all the way back in 2017 for Windows 8.1, but they kept Windows 7 support, which is a bit stupid. And it's really unfair for Windows 8, unfortunately. This isn't common, but surprisingly AMD decided to do this. AMD had no reason to do that, especially since Windows 8.1 still had like six years of support left when they did this. And they kept Windows 7 support, which made no sense at all. If you're going to kill Windows 8, kill Windows 7 too. Anyway, thanks to this video, I managed to get the RX 580 working on Windows 8.1, but it was a bit of a headache, so if you have an AMD GPU that's recent, keep that in mind. So NVIDIA is probably the better choice for Windows 8, as they still have Windows 8 drivers on the website, I'm pretty sure. Let's do some app testing. For this, I'm going to make a Ninit because it saves time, and I've seen a few of my friends use it before. I've also seen some other YouTubers use it before, so we're going to use that. We're going to get a more up-to-date browser on here first. Unfortunately, Chrome is no longer supported on Windows 8.1, which is a bit of a shame. Firefox still has extended updates for 8.1 though, which is pretty nice. That ends in 2024 though. And there we go, I've got Chrome installed. As you can see, to get future Chrome updates, you'll need Windows 10 later. This PC is running 8.1. And we're stuck on Chrome 109. The latest version of Chrome is 120, so this is quite far now. But it's only a year out of date and most pages will still work. As you can see right here, my YouTube channel loads just fine. Almost as if this is the latest Chrome. The only thing I'm really missing out on is the new UI. Firefox browser extended support release 115.5.0. It's the latest version of 115 ESR. There's also some videos on YouTube showing how to get the latest Firefox on 8.1. So Firefox is probably your best choice on Windows 8.1. Now let's test some other actual software. So I'm going to get everything. Discord and Skype VLC. iTunes. Audacity. Winamp, Spotify, uh, what else we need? Uh, maybe we should get all the run times. I don't know if I should get the run times. TeamView is another thing I use. Windows Stat. OpenView is also quite useful. Paint.net I use a lot too. Steam I want as well. WinRAD like, 7zip as well. Notepad++ is also useful. And I occasionally will use FileZilla. ShareX as well. This one looks sus, I don't know. <laughs> this reminds me of spyware sheriff removal. All right, I think that'll do it. All right, and we'll wait for that to install. Okay, it looks like we've had a couple of issues with installing programs. Spotify, iTunes, uh, ShareX we can fix, we need to install the .NET packages, and Paint.net's having a problem too, I don't know why. All right, we're gonna have to manually download these. We're gonna go with Spotify. I know iTunes doesn't work on Windows 8 anymore. All right, we're gonna get .NET updated on here as well. Let's try running paint.net. It isn't looking good looking at those system requirements. It doesn't even support the first release of Windows 10 anymore, but we're gonna try it anyway. Nope. Spotify has multiple versions. We've got current Windows 8.1, 8 and 7, which indicates that the newest version of Spotify does not work on Windows 8. And I think they're just hosting old versions that will work on Windows 8. So I'm gonna download that. All right, we're installing Spotify. And yes, gotta love the Windows 10 buttons here. Anyway, let's log into Spotify. All right, we are logged in to Spotify. Now let's see if it will play music. As you can hear, it is playing music now. I had the sound muted, sorry about that. But yeah, this still works. So yes, you can still use Spotify on Windows 8.1. That's very nice. Got a little bug here though, but Spotify does work. Looks like it's a premium thing. Audacity. I think this may be an older version, I'm not sure though. But Audacity does seem to work. Let's try, um. Shit, I don't have any music on this machine. Alright, let's chuck that into Audacity. Alright, let's see if it will play. I actually can't hear anything, so. Alright, it appears to be playing. I can see on the audio graph on OBS. 
All right, so Audacity seems to work pretty fine. That's good. All right, let's test out VLC. Yep, it works perfectly. And I love the Windows 8 sound scheme. Oh my god, I just I love that notification sound. That never gets old. As you can see, VLC is working nicely. Cool. Let's try Discord. Which already needs some updates. Great. <laughs> I must mention one thing, I'm going to be using a burner account for this video just because I don't want to show my actual account on here. I do have a Discord account for everyone asking, it's just private. I'd rather just use a test account because I'd have to censor everything, including group chats, like friends, and my own username of course. You know, just to protect people's privacy and my own of course. Shit! And there we go, we've got an account. Discord works just fine on Windows 8, let's make a server. And there we go. Nice. If you want to add this account, go ahead, I guess. I'm never going to sign into it again, so... <laughs> anyway, there's nothing really else to test on Discord. Can I join a voice call? I sure can. No, I don't have a microphone connected to this computer, but I can join a voice call, so if I had one, I'm pretty sure it would work. Yeah, let's see. Finally, I'll test out Skype, which I doubt anyone will be using, but unfortunately, I still have to use this. Anyway, I signed to Skype using a test account I made a while back. And Skype signs in, can I make a call? Hello, welcome to Skype call testing. Alright, and yeah, that appears to work. Of course, I can't talk to anyone because I don't have a microphone, but if I did have a microphone, it would work completely fine. As you can see, this is working. We're in call. And yeah, that's it. Alright, that's a bit extreme for a little notification, but X. <laughs> welcome to Vegas Pro 21. That's not going to be a problem, right? Yeah, video processing software like Vegas Pro isn't going to work very well on Windows 8. But it will still work. I'm going to mute the sound so it doesn't go, doesn't go over my voice right now. So I can just like trim up some video. And I'll cut some video here. I'm just going to cut some more video. Speed it up. Extend that and then speed it up. As you can see it's playing back actually all right now i'm going to try rendering that bam and we're rendering and we're rendering at full speed this is actually really good all right we're done after a little over a minute nice what the hell just happened did you see that what the hell but nice it does work Whilst we can't run the latest version of OBS on here, we can install an older version of OBS, like this version 27.2.4. I'm not going to stream from this, I'm just going to do some recording. Add a display capture. Settings. MP4. And we are now recording on Windows 8.1. And as you can see, we're able to play back our footage just fine. We can use our OBS for making a video on Windows 8, actually, thinking about it now. Let's sign into Steam. I wonder if I can still log into my Steam account. People have been trying to hack this account for months now. And as you can see, Steam does work on Windows 8.1. Now that it's not for long, as you can see up here, Steam will stop running on Windows 8.1 in 14 days, which is just crazy. If you want to play Steam games on Windows 8.1, this is your last two weeks to do so, I guess. But anyway, since it does work for now, we can actually have a game of Among Us if we want to. So why don't we have a little game of it? I haven't played it in a very long time, as you just saw. I haven't played it since last year. It's quite a small game, so this shouldn't take long to download. I'm going to start a screen recording. Alright, Among Us is downloaded. Let's play. Let's see how this performs quite smooth so far. Again, we're on an RX 580 and a 4th gen Xeon. Rather completely changed it since the last time I played it. Let's just keep scrolling, scrolling. But what if I was born in 1900? All right, let's play Free Seal. We're gonna do a local game. All right, I'm just gonna ignore this, <laughs> which is probably a bad idea. Oh well, classic, yes. Let's run around a bit. It's been a very long time since I've played this. Let's go into the wardrobe, or should I say the closet. There we go, Blue. I can't start the game because I don't have any other clients to connect. 
and I don't feel like getting 14 other computers out just to do that. <laughs> right, let's join an online game, I guess. Here we go. All right, I am not the imposter. <laughs> All right, let's go. I forgot how to completely play this, if I'm being honest. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just gonna skip the vote. No one voted me, good. Let's take a look at our video recording. Let's quit the game. Nice, let's see how the recording turned out. Watch it a little bit. As you can see, this is running really smoothly. However, I don't understand this video playback glitching. I have no clue what it is. Anyways, that is it. So what's my conclusion on Windows 8.1? Is it still good in 2023? Yes, I think it's still pretty decent. Now, it's only going to get worse from here, sadly. For example, with Steam, that's about to die in a couple weeks. But for the most part, this operating system is still pretty stable and usable. And it's really lightweight, so I do recommend it for devices that don't have a lot of power, like, say, those Intel Atom tablets again. So I think Windows 8.1 is still a really good option if you want to, like, a lightweight OS, because it's much lighter and less bloated than Windows 10 and Windows 11. I hope you like this video. If you like content like this, maybe consider subscribing, please. Alright, thanks for watching, and goodbye.